Welcome to the Instant Atlas Profile Builder video. The Instant Atlas Profile Builder is a web mapping application which can be added to your ArcGIS online account. It allows you to design and distribute a set of quality profile reports for each individual feature in your web map or map service. The end result could look something like this. On this index page, the user first chooses an area, either by clicking on the feature in the map or by selecting it by name through one of the buttons. I select, for example, Colorado. Then the profile opens. First, it shows a cover page. On the next page, a table of contents and a short summary. And the actual data content starts on the third page. You can see that a profile can contain several pages with different elements, such as images, different charts, texts, break lines, and so on. The administrator defines which elements should be visible, their size, location, and the data displayed in them. The administrator also has a great deal of flexibility when it comes to changing the look and feel, colors, fonts, etc. of the profile. The data you can see comes straight out of the connected ArcGIS online web map. So if the data in the web map gets updated, the changes will automatically come through in the profile. This is a profile for Colorado. If I wish to change it to show the data for a different state, I can simply go back to the index page to select a different feature. For instance, Alaska. Now the same profile fills with the values for Alaska. It is not necessary to create the profile multiple times for each feature. The administrator defines it only once, and the application simply pulls the values for different features into the display. You can see that it is possible to include comparisons to, for example, the national values, and even to define text rules which allow different texts to display depending on certain attribute values. This text, for example, compares the value for the selected feature with the value for the whole of the United States, and depending on the result, it either shows higher, lower, or equal to the United States. So, now let's have a look how you create such a profile. First, you will need a web map within your ArcGIS online account, which should contain at least one feature service. All the data you wish to display in the profile needs to be saved as attribute data in the feature service. We suggest you define sensible aliases for each attribute field, as these are displayed in your profile. Then you simply need to sign up for the Instant Atlas Profile Builder. It can be found in the ArcGIS Marketplace, and for this video I have taken out a 15-day trial of Profile Builder. I can open the Profile Builder by clicking Open and then View Application. Here I am asked to sign in with my ArcGIS online account details. On the home screen, I can see the folders of my ArcGIS online account. I only have one main folder here, but if you have multiple folders, they would all display here. So I open my folder and click on Web Maps to see the web maps in it. Currently I only have one in here, with data for the United States. The pencil button allows me to create a new profile using this web map as a basis. So let's do this. I can either start with a blank profile, or I could use one of the predefined layouts as a template, if I want. I will choose a blank profile to show you how to start from scratch. Now I am asked to pick an attribute field which contains the feature names. The application offers me two fields here, as those are the only two with textual data in it. I choose the one called State Name, and click Create. So. Now I have a blank A4 sized page in front of me that I can fill to my heart's content. For example, the first thing I may want to insert is a heading for my profile. In the toolbox on the left hand side, 
I can see a number of different widgets grouped together in categories. You can see we could add a map, different kinds of charts, images, two types of tables, and textual widgets into the profile. For the heading, I would choose a text widget. To add it to my page, all I have to do is to drag and drop the widget from the toolbox onto my page. You can see how the outline of the widget is displayed to show me where the widget will be inserted. Once I release the mouse button, I see the editor mode of the text and can replace the default text by my own text, for example, my first profile. I can now format this text as a heading. Give it a different color, for example, crimson red. Change the font size and the font family. And maybe make it center aligned. Once I'm happy with my text, I click Save to submit the changes. Now I would like to add some charts. For example, I choose a bar chart from the toolbox. By default, the bar chart shows the first 10 numeric indicators from the attributes of the feature service. To change this, I can click on the cogwheel icon and then select Properties. In the Data tab, I can choose which of the attribute fields should be used for this widget. So I first deselect them all, and then I pick, for example, the five different health categories for 2010. If I move the Properties dialog to the side, and then click Apply, I can see the change in the chart. In the Settings tab, I have a long list of properties that I can modify to change how the chart looks like and behaves. For example, in the property group Chart Bars, I can change the style of the bars to, for example, Cylinder. And I can also change the bars to be displayed horizontally instead of vertically. As the title already shows the selected feature, I will choose not to display a legend for my chart. To do this, I simply take out the tick at the Show Legend property. Because there are so many properties, we have grouped some of the most common settings together into Quick Picks, which you can choose from the Quick Picks tab. Depending on which settings are included in the Quick Picks, those will override the set value of the properties. So for example, if I don't want to see a plot grid in my chart, I can click on this Quick Pick option, which removes the plot grid, but will leave all the other settings as I have defined them. I am now happy with my chart, and click OK. I can change the dimensions of the widget by dragging the handlers on its borders, so I could make the chart a bit narrower to make space for other widgets. So if I now drag, for example, a pie chart, I can see that the outline gives me different options to where the widget should be inserted and what its default size would be. I want it to appear right off the bar chart. Again, I could now change the default data displayed in the chart and modify a number of settings to get the chart to appear as I wish. The process is similar as for the bar chart. In this way, you can add further widgets to your profile. In the widget properties, you can adjust colors, borders and so on to create a unique design. It is recommended that you regularly save your work. The first time you do this, you will be asked to give a name to your profile. I call mine my first profile. It will be saved into my ArcGIS online account, and if I had multiple folders, I could choose a folder to save it into here. Optionally, I can add tags so that the profile can be found easily by others if I plan to share it. Now that the profile is saved, I can preview it using the Preview button. I hope this video has given you an insight in the great and creative possibilities you have to build profiles using the Instant Atlas Profile Builder. If you have any questions regarding this application, please do not hesitate to send us an email to support at instantatlas.com.